Let's take a look at this problem on microscopic explanation of friction. A wooden block which has originally been given a push is sliding on the floor, gradually comes to rest. Is this process reversible or irreversible? Describe the process as it would appear on a movie played backward. Discuss what happens during this process on the microscopic scale of atoms and molecules. So, when I have a block that is initially at rest, that is given an impulse at t is equal to zero, what will happen? So, from the point of view of classical mechanics, the impulse that we apply is let's say we're applying a constant force for a time interval uh, delta t and uh, I'm assuming f is uh, not a time dependent force it's a constant force and uh, this must be equal to the change in linear momentum of our block which is the final uh, momentum that will be its initial velocity and capital M times the initial velocity V initial so basically this is impulse momentum theorem so when we say that the block was given uh, initially given a push uh, that's what it means. We have the, an impulse that is applied uh, that will cause a change in the linear momentum of the block and it will give a, an initial velocity, the initial to the block. And therefore, we have also an initial kinetic energy of the block, uh, which will be 1 over 2 m v initial squared. Um, since there is friction between the block and the surface uh, so if the coefficient of kinetic friction is mu k there will be a force of friction that will be opposing the motion of the block so what will happen is eventually uh, as a result of this uh, the application of the force of friction the block will stop so it will be losing its kinetic energy so final velocity will be zero so final kinetic energy will be zero uh, the final kinetic energy is basically the initial kinetic energy minus uh, the work uh, the dot product of the uh, force of friction with the displacement so minus fk uh, delta x so this will be equal to uh, zero. So we will find that uh, the, there will be an energy loss due to friction uh, so that we will eventually have the block stop. And the, the energy loss that is due during the process will basically be uh, due to collisions of the molecules between the uh, bottom surface of the block and the ground and this energy, uh, the kinetic energy that we are losing is redistributed uh, between the block and the, and the bottom surface uh, or, or the ground surface and uh, it will cause heating of the block and uh, also some heating uh, on, the, uh, on the ground uh, surface that touches the uh, block. So we can summarize uh, these observations as follows. So uh, when the wooden block is given an initial impulse, which is the force that we're applying for a time interval delta t. 
its molecules at the point of application of the force will gain kinetic energy. So on the microscopic scale, when I look at the point of application of the force, which is this point here, the molecules at the point of application will gain kinetic energy uh, due to the impulse. And this kinetic energy will be transferred throughout the block because the molecules are all uh, connected through chemical bonds the kinetic energy will be transferred throughout the block uh, so that we will see that the block will start moving with an initial velocity V initial. Of course, we have the assumption here that uh, in addition to this coefficient of kinetic friction, we have coefficient of static friction and the force that we're applying F uh, must be, its magnitude must be greater than mu s times mg the normal force so that the object will start moving otherwise the static friction would balance uh, the the force that we're applying and there would be no motion okay now after the block starts moving uh, we can continue our description uh, there will be collisions due to collisions between the bottom surface of the block atoms and the ground there will be energy losses to the ground uh, so the energy that was kinetic energy that was concentrated on the block will get redistributed between the block and the ground atoms and molecules uh, so we can say that um, ki, ki initial kinetic energy is redistributed over the block ground atoms and molecules and the block will eventually Stop. So this kinetic energy loss process uh, continues uh, and uh, as a result we will have um, additionally we will see that there will be a temperature increase. due to uh, an increase in the mean kinetic energy of atoms and molecules 
at the contact point. Okay, so basically we have a mechanical energy that is being converted into heat, heating of the, uh, the block. And the block will eventually stop. Now in the backward movie, so if I look at the process in the backward direction, we see that the block is stopped and it accelerates uh, to have its initial velocity be initial uh, while moving to the uh, left and then I see that it will uh, stop at t is equal to zero when I have the application of the force. So in the backward movie we would see that uh, the energy would be reconcentrated on the block we would see the block accelerate to have a velocity v initial and then stop so uh, basically regain ki ki uh, from from the ground so reabsorb this energy and turn it into kinetic energy now uh, since that basically implies that we have a reconcentration of energy over just the block molecules, um, the energy that we have lost the friction cannot be recovered. Uh, since the backward process necessitates reconcentration of energy uh, the energy lost the friction cannot be recovered Therefore, this whole process is irreversible. So let's go back and see if we have answered all the questions. A wooden block which has originally been given a push, an impulse, uh, that is a constant force uh, times the time interval over which the uh, the force was applied F delta T which is going to be converted into a linear momentum delta P M times V initial using the impulse momentum theorem at T is equal to zero provided that the force is greater than the static friction which is mu s times mg so we have gravitational acceleration uh, g Um, so the, the block will gain an initial kinetic energy 1 over 2 mvi square. It is sliding on the floor and gradually comes to rest. Due to kinetic friction, uh, the kinetic friction force is uh, mu k times mg, coefficient of kinetic friction times the weight of the block, which is the normal force. Uh, we would see that this force would uh, oppose the motion and cause deceleration uh, so that it would finally stop and it stops uh, during the process it uh, 
go, goes through a distance delta x and the final kinetic energy is initial kinetic energy uh, minus the energy that we have lost fk times delta x so this is going to be equal to zero so um, is this process reversible or irreversible? Well, we said that the process is irreversible because the backward process necessitates reconcentration of energy from the ground to the block uh, and therefore the energy loss to friction cannot be recovered. It is irreversible. Describe the process as it would appear on a movie played backward. Um, now, in the backward movie, we would see the block accelerates to have a velocity v initial and then stop. That is at the position at t is equal to zero. That basically involves regaining kinetic energy from the uh, ground. Discuss what happens during this process on the microscopic scale of atoms and molecules. Well, when the wooden block is given an initial impulse, its molecules at the point of application of the force will gain kinetic energy which will be uh, transferred throughout the block so that the whole block uh, as a single object will start moving with an initial velocity v initial and due to collisions between the bottom surface of the block atoms and the ground there will be energy losses to the ground. The kinetic, initial kinetic energy will be redistributed over the block and ground atoms and molecules and the block will eventually stop. Additionally, there will be a temperature increase at the contact point uh, due to these collisions. We have a mean energy, a kinetic energy increase at the contact point, so that means we have heating. So mechanical energy is converted into heating of the block and the ground atoms and molecules at the contact point. So that is the description of the process on the microscopic scale of atoms and molecules. And as a result, uh, since the process involves going from an ordered situation where we have the kinetic energy concentrated on the block to a, a more random or disordered situation where we have the energy redistributed between the block and the ground, the process is irreversible.